Hi, you're watching VSDC channel. Today we'll show you how to create a radial wipe transition, also called clock wipe transition. It's a simple effect, but if you know how to use it right, it can become a stylish addition to your video. Create a project and import your footage. When you try to import multiple files, VSDC will ask you to choose whether you want to add your footage to layer or open it in wizard. The first option means that you will add the video files to the timeline and will be setting up the transition manually. The second option means your videos will be opened in a separate window similar to a slideshow maker, where you can quickly merge files together using ready-made transitions. First, we are going to explore the former option, so hit Add to Layer. Make a click on the first video file and apply the wipe effect. Now place the cursor at the beginning of the transition and go back to the main timeline. Grab the second video and drop it right under the first one, so that it would start exactly where you left the cursor. Got it? Now go back to the first video and make a click on the transition layer. We are going to work with the properties window now. Find the field named Type and select Clock from the drop-down menu. If you try moving the cursor, you'll see that the transition is already there. So let's take a closer look at its settings. Directly, this is where you decide whether you want the transition to go clockwise or counterclockwise. Transition levels is the percentage of the scene that gets wiped out during the transition. Cell Width Divider allows you to divide the transition effect edgewise. Cell Width – it's the width of a single cell. Cell Height Divider allows you to divide the transition effect vertically. Cell Height is quite self-explanatory. Type and Mode are the type and mode of the effect you want to apply. These were the in-depth settings of the Wipe Transition effect. Now we're going to go a few steps back and see how we would apply this transition using VSDC Wizard. Ok, here we are. This is a wizard window to help you quickly merge several files together. On the left-hand side, there is a transition menu. Choose Wipe Clock. In the middle section, you have a selection of transition types. Just pick the one you like and drag it here between the video files. When you're done, hit Apply Settings. And this is it! We really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified when we publish the next one.